can't believe our friends believe that there's UFOs and aliens in the desert. They're not planning to go to Area 51, are they? I don't know, they might be. Oh God. There are no aliens or UFOs in the desert. So we're gonna learn how this guy turns air into water. Is that the deal? Yeah. I think this is one of those things where it's going to be a really cool product, but as an investment, I who knows? This you is a consumer, consumer product. Consumer, yeah. And he was telling us about a client, I can't remember if it was in the desert, but that purchased 10 of these machines so that he could have water for his entire family in the event that the water system stopped working, which I guess is a legitimate concern. I guess there's a market. It's my new favorite. And I am the best cat dad. Does that come in a dog variety? <laughs> I don't know what to think about that meeting. There was a high-ranking former executive with the Environmental Protection Agency there. From one of the former presidential administrations. And in his backyard, he has this thing that's about the size of a little larger than a, I would say, an industrial air conditioning unit. And it's basically... I took a picture of it. I don't know if I can show it, but I no, took a picture. No, you you're not allowed to show it. You'll like, <laughs> <laughs> will disappear. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> basically, they figured out a way to make water from air and to do it at a fairly high capacity to where you could have gallons of water a day from a relatively small size unit. Like, they're going to miniaturize the unit. And enough drinking water to... For your family. For an entire family. I mean, I don't know if people are willing to spend thousands of dollars on a machine that makes water from air just enough water to drink. This is a bottled water replacement. This is it right that, here. That water was generated today. It's surprising actually. It's, when you spend $2,000 to make two and a half gallons of water a day from air in your backyard, operating off the solar panels, not an investment for us. We had a recommendation for them. If there's a viable consumer market for this product, that will come out through a Kickstarter campaign. They need to launch a Kickstarter campaign, period. So we're headed now to listen in on a phone call that Chris is scheduled. All right, so the Parks Project, okay? So okay. De Denise referred me to this guy. Yeah. They partner with National Parks, okay? And they make these really cool t-shirts that are all National Park inspired. And the money, for the most part, a lot of the money goes back to support National Parks. Nice. So he's essentially created a national brand around cool t-shirts that support national parks. It's actually blowing up. So he, we're gonna just talk to him. I don't think he's ever raised money for the company. Hello, Capital Factory. Hello. How are you guys Saris doing? Technology yet? Have we met who? Saris Technology. No, no, who's that? It's one of the portfolio companies. They're about to meet with ExxonMobil and I think you should meet with oh. them. Right. Well, we got a call, it starts in two minutes. It's never enough time in a day. And this is the life of dumb money. <laughs> Hey Keith, Chris Camillo, how are you doing? Parks and conservatory it is really important. And it's like, it honestly is something that I care deeply about. And so here's a guy supporting national parks and everything they represent. And like this guy's building a potential $10 million plus business around selling t-shirts connected to national parks. He's already giving away like close to seven figures to support these parks. I think it could be 10 times that much easily, but beyond that, just getting people's attention towards parks and conservatory, it's a no-brainer. What are we doing for the next two hours? Doing lunch. We have lunch, it is a mentor lunch. It's a networking event for mentors. Met a lot of people, had a good lunch. I got two new prospective companies for us to meet out of that meeting. And now it's uh, time to meet with the uh, the big scheduled meeting of the day, which is pure, pure wine. Pure wine, wine filtration. Let's go try some midday wine. I feel that the last two or three years, I've seen a lot of stuff around better for you wine. It sounds like you have the ability to turn any wine into a beer, better for you wine. Or fermented beverage, period. Oh. Which wine, white or red wine, has more sulfites in it? I think red, right? Wrong. It has 10 times more sulfites in white wine, and yet 10 times more problems are in red wine. Yeah. So you just do that differential diagnosis, you know it's not the sulfites. Yeah. What, what is your product taking out of the wine? It is takes it out the histamines and the sulfites. Okay. So you said histamine, so this is an allergic reaction. It's, it's, we, call, we call it in the medical area a pseudo-allergy. Does what you do to the wine change the flavor profile at all? We do not change that at all. This is like a single-use product? This one is. This is all bio-renewable plastic. Amazon right now is about 45% of our okay. market. 
and then the rest is retail. These, if you get them on sale, are about a dollar twenty-five to dollar sixty each. Each, each one. one of okay. These, yeah. Okay. The the wave right here. Depending on where you buy it, it'll be anywhere from six dollars and fifty cents to ten dollars. Okay. If it reduces my hangover yeah. by even fifty percent, right. that is a dollar per glass well spent. How little I actually know about wine. If you have a product-based company that's in market and you need to raise money, a hybrid model that includes yeah. a royalty, like a hybrid royalty royalty model that gives investors like us the ability to earn our money back. Earn your money back in a reasonable and amount of time over a year and two years. Equity in the company. That's what we want. That's how we want to invest in product type companies. Yeah. And yes. this is the first this is the first one where that was built into the structure of the deal. So we, I was honestly kind of 50 50 in terms of making an investment. Yeah. As soon as you said that, I was I'm in. I don't really get hangovers from wine, but I do get red. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test drinking regular wine one night and this filtered wine the next night. For the same brand. And same brand, same yeah. exact vintage, everything. And I'm just going to see if I have a difference in my complexion. That was a way longer day than I like to have. <laughs> <laughs> but now heading to the bank to uh, get checks for our house project. Yes. That's exciting. Yeah, closing the door. We, we put about $175,000 each. Yep. And it, it took us two years. We were in the project for about two years, and we made $1,100 each. Could have been worse. It could have been a loss situation, yeah. but uh, it, this is something that we, I'm not interested in doing again. We, we caught we caught a little downdrift in the, mar in the in our local real estate market. Is what yeah. happened, and that's all it takes is a little downdrift to ruin the party. So tonight we're testing this product. This is the Pure Wine Wand. You stir your wine with it and it supposedly takes all the histamine and sulfite out of the wine. All the stuff that gives you headaches and congestion and redness. I don't usually get hangovers from wine, but I am very curious to see if this has any kind of positive effect. Three minutes is an incredibly long time to stir your wine before you drink it. I really don't see myself doing this every time I want to have wine. Do you think I'm more or less red than yesterday? I think you're less red. You think less? Okay, let me know when you're ready for a re-refill. I'm on bartender duty today. Funny how whenever Megan has people over, I'm in charge of the bar. And they're basically looking for a funding round to help ramp up production. And it's very intriguing because in addition to paying interest and a royalty, they're also giving equity in the company. So how about you? Have you tried this product? Does it work for you? Let me know down in the comments. If you liked this video, if you found it useful, hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe.